Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Uh, Spanner Man again here with another video. Hope you enjoy the video today. Please subscribe to the channel. Any comments, thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Uh, Spanner Man again here with another video. Today we're going to talk about tungsten carbide chains, uh, what you use them for, what I use them for, and what I personally think of them. I reckon they're a great invention. They certainly won't cut as fast as a standard chain, probably 30% uh, slower. So where do you generally use this type of chain? Well, normally you use them in very dirty applications, and that would be you could have a tree that's falling over, it's termite infested, and inside there'll be lots of mud from the termites standard uh chainsaw chain will get blunt in no time whereas one of these will just keep going through the dirt and will take a lot lot longer to become blunt typically the sharpening ratio would be about if you sharpen your standard chain 10 times you'd only sharpen this maybe once so you don't sharpen them up a lot. You do need a diamond uh, uh, wheel to sharpen them. If you don't have that, take it down to your local shop. They'll probably charge you a lot more because it's a lot slower doing it. You will hear stories where they turn around and say, oh, you know, sometimes the, the teeth chip off. Well, I've been using these for a long, long time. Never lost a tooth yet. Then again, I don't sink it in the stones or very little dirt. So especially if you hit rocks, it's going to probably chip the tooth off. Same as all my compound saws, they're all tungsten carbide, and I've never lost a tooth on that either. So if you look after them, they'll generally look after you, and uh, yeah. So the other thing is to remember that the angles of these, a little bit different than a standard chain, the actual top plate angle is 30 degrees, so that's fairly standard. But the actual top plate cutting angle on a standard chain is about 60 degrees. It's 80 degrees on this. So you probably can see that sharp edge there. That's 80 degrees. Just see whether you can see that. We'll just try and take the chain off. Maybe you can have a bit of a look at the chain on the inside. It's a fairly sharp edge. Uh... It's probably not quite as sharp as a standard chain, but wouldn't be that far off it. So hopefully you can see you can see it there. I think you can see the face of that pretty good. As I said, it is pretty sharp. And you can see the angle there, as I said, it's 80 degrees, not 60. The tooth is probably approximately, it's probably got about three millimeters of uh, tungsten uh, carbide uh, on the tooth. So... It lasts for quite a while. You you grind very, very little off it because it's so hard. You're mainly just touching the edge up, so you're bringing the edge up that's sharp. So all that happens with the tungsten carbide, the edges tend to get a little bit dull through use, and it's just a matter of cleaning them up again. And as I say, it's very, very hard material, and you need a diamond wheel to do so. You'll also notice that there is no C-shape in uh, on the side plate there. It's just a dead straight line at 80 degree angle, no C-shape whatsoever. So there's no profile uh, like a normal grinding wheel or like a file that has a C-shape. This doesn't have that. Uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, that's the way that they've manufactured. And look, they really do work good. As I said, they're fantastic if you go away camping. I've got two uh, tungsten carbide chains. I've got 3.8 low profile on a 16-inch saw. Good to get in the little hard spots. Great little firewood saw when you go away camping. 
and if you're cutting up much larger logs away camping I pull out the 20 inch which is this one here so I definitely take these chains away with me when I go camping because don't have to worry about sharpening them up or them going blunt so look I've only got good things to say uh, about tungsten carbide chains they've got a purpose they're certainly not your I wouldn't go out and buy one and say this is going to be my firewood chain because they're going to cut 30 percent slower so you wouldn't want uh i can't see the point in doing that uh so yeah they've got an application and as i said the application is generally for dirty applications where wood's been laying around in a paddock for a long time and you have to cut it up and a normal chain's going to get blunt in two seconds because it's got a lot of dirt and rubbish in it so it's all rotten Anyway, look, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, all comments are welcome. Bye for now.